To get started, you must be logged into the admin area of your website. From there, you'll need to go to the Members section of your website, and within the Members section, you'll need to select Registration System. On the resulting page, you'll see a list of all of your registrations within our Registration Control Panel. Within the Control Panel, you can do specific functions such as adding a new registration, cloning an existing registration, selecting and editing one of your existing registrations, or delete a current registration. The Form button will allow you to add, edit, delete, or view questions on the supplemental form. The List function will allow you to view an on-screen report of registration data while the download function will take all registration data and place it into an easy to read CSV file which can be opened as a spreadsheet. The assign function can be used to create team rosters by simply dragging registrants name onto the team that they are assigned to. Under the registration control panel you can enter registration page instructions. These instructions will be the first thing that a registrant sees when clicking the Register Online selection from your site. For this demonstration, let's click to Add a New Registration. On the resulting page, you'll be able to list the parameters of your registration. You'll first want to give your program a title. Next, you'll want to select the registration type, whether the program is an individual member registration or whether it is a team registration. For the purposes of this demonstration, we are going to select individual member registration. Next, you'll need to set the date parameters for your registration. You can set an open date, a late date, if applicable, and a close date for your registration. You can choose to make this registration available only to administrators, those who are logged into the admin section of your website. This can be very useful during the testing process of a registration. If this is a private registration program, you can choose to make the registration hidden or invitation only. What this will do is restrict the registration from being shown on the Register Online page. The system also provides a direct link address that can be emailed to members so that they can access the registration directly. From this page, you can also enter an email address that will be CC'd whenever an email confirmation is sent. Next, under the Description tab, you'll be able to enter a brief description for your registration program. This description, along with the other parameters of your program, will be displayed on the Register Online page. Under the Qualifications tab, you can determine who is eligible for your registration program. From this area, you can select a prerequisite program. When selected, the user must be registered in the prerequisite program prior to being able to complete the registration. You can also select whether the registration is open to new members, existing members, or whether the registration is open to a specific gender. You can also set age restrictions for your program. Here, you can enter the oldest birthday or the youngest birthday of someone in your registration. You can also set a grade restriction for your registration program. If either an oldest birthday of someone under the age of 18 or a high grade is set, uh, the system will automatically ask for guardian information during the registration process. Under the Cost tab, you can set a base cost for your registration. You may also enter a late fee for each registration, 
as well as entering a multi-child discount. You can also set a maximum amount that each family can pay. Please keep in mind that the family maximum takes into account all charges from all current and open registrations. Under the Payments tab, you can select what payment methods are available for this program. You can choose to create a scheduled payment system. When selected, you will have to define each scheduled payment. You can do this by giving each payment a name, a due date, and an amount. You can also create a reminder note which will be sent seven days prior to the due date for all registrants who have not paid up to that point. If you are accepting checks for this registration program, you can type in an address for where checks can be mailed to. You can also choose to accept electronic payments by checking off the box for your merchant account. Under the Confirmation tab, you can create a message which will be sent to all members upon completing registration. Please keep in mind that if you have not entered an address where members can send check payments to, confirmation notes will only be sent upon payment completion. This message will also appear on the registration review. Under the Advanced tab, you'll be able to select what information is visible on the online registration page. Also from the Advanced tab, you can choose to delete unpaid registrations on a specified date or after a specified period of time. Upon completing your registration information, you can click the Submit button at the bottom of the page. When submitting a new registration program, you will immediately be brought to the supplemental form questions. From this page, you'll be able to add new supplemental questions. Please keep in mind basic member data such as name, address, phone numbers, and email address will automatically be gathered by the registration system. The registration system will allow you to create several different types of questions, such as a label which is only text and does not require any user input, a text question where a user will type in their answer into an input box, agreement text where a user will have to acknowledge that they are agreeing to specified text before they are able to continue with their registration, a checkbox or a group of checkboxes where users can select multiple items, radio buttons or a group of radio buttons where users can select only one item, drop-down lists where a user can select from a list of predefined choices, and picture and birth certificate uploads where the user can upload a picture or a copy of a birth certificate. Here is an example of a label, a text question, checkboxes, a drop-down question, an agreement text, and a group of radio buttons.